Hey, what is up, YouTube? ZB Basset here, and I'm finally there, man. I'm there with everything that I could put in a vehicle. Almost, like, there's maybe a few things here and there that I'm missing, like second battery, which I gave up. Um, yeah. Finally got everything that's almost the exact same as thing as in my... God, I'm just mumbling. Uh, same thing as in my fiance's car, but kind of separated here and there. Here it is. Uh, audio band, flame Q 1206T. 12 gauge wire. 12 gauge wire um, for the jumper. So you can make it 2 ohms. This is wired at 2 ohms. And like shout out to my new friend Blake who sold me this sub and also before that too, before I found out he had this, um, he sold me a JLW1 15 inch, um, I think it was rated at like 200, 300 RMS, got that fixed up, um, the rubber starting was messed up, got that glued down from this one shop, he had special glue, and yeah, sold that. And decided to keep this because this thing is beast. Looked up reviews from like down to like 2005. Like everyone likes this over and over. And all the way up to 2012, up to last year. It's pretty good. Double magnet stack under this. Um, it was reconed and kind of repaired. Like I've seen, I can notice the repairs in it. <clears throat> um, some review, like this one guy was like, I want to change the coil on it and a couple other things. Um, so it will handle higher RMS or stay cool at higher RMS, like high wattage when, when you want to get good quality base out of it. And I believe this one has been like that too. It was, that's what was put in there. Because when I got a demo, it was pounding and pounding, it was rattling the trunk, and it didn't get hot at all. Neither did the amp. But I'm not gonna keep this one. Um, I, I will keep it, but like I won't keep using it. One day I'll change it. Here's my sub. All right, here's my Sony Explode head unit, 52 watts times four. Uh, CDX L550X. Freaking love this thing. Like, hey. Um, preset equalizer. You can control the bass and treble and add a loudness with all three things on. And just make your sub pound like crazy, but can't go too crazy. It might distort your subwoofer. Make a distorting sound, make it all ugly, and soon destroy it. But yeah, I got a Nirvana CD stuck in there. This one that was hooked up to my fiance's car when she had the Sony Explode system. When I first started out actually adding car audio to a vehicle was Sony Explode everything. I didn't get it all from Walmart, I got it all from Use Victoria. Just here and there, collected it and then added it all in her vehicle and then it matched the car because the car is red, still the 98.x on fire. And then took it all out, added different products here and there, and she likes it, and sold out the Sony Explode stuff, and somebody else enjoyed the Sony Explode stuff. I know there's bad reviews on Sony Explode, but I like the head unit. Um, if you don't like my head unit, well, that's your problem to judge, because you're lame. Like, you fucked in the head. Just, it's not your head unit. Um, it's mine, so yeah. You missed the head for being very judgmental on what I have, which with barely any money at all, got this all decent price. So I'm just totally rambling on. But all right, here is my two A gauges twisted and twined and twirled and taped. 
so it won't untwine, untwirl, untwist. And it has two, which you can't see, because I do not want them splitting. Could have just used one, but wanted to keep the power at, at its highest on which power that I'm gonna give it. But yeah, it has two uh, 150 amp fuses in, in this tape ball. <laughs> Did what I can. Got these off my brother. He had it in his his Jeep. He took it out so he wouldn't get ripped off from this guy that raised his Jeep for him. He got a three or four inch lift on it. Just raised it. And then he didn't want to get ripped off. So he took out this white wire that was in his vehicle. He was only running, um, I think it was a massive CW10. I don't know, it was an older version before my fiance's massive PW10 because it pounded pretty good. It was, I don't know, I liked it. He was also going to sell me that sub too, but just left it. And then out of nowhere he comes out with this blue A gauge and then tried out the A gauge and everyone's like, yo man, you gotta upgrade that shit. I was like, alright. Well, I had another pair of A gauge laying around this blue one that I got off him. And then twined them together and then added the ends together. Soldered them. Now it's running like 4 gauge or something. Uh, I think I got like 20 feet of that shit. Alright, here's the other thing. I already showed this, but my Clarion Sonic Bass Enhancer Bass Maximizer. This really makes a difference. It really does. It's kind of called an Epicenter 2 for other things. But this one's smaller, so it's called a Sonic Bass Enhancer. But they're kind of basically just the same thing. My Stinger Voltmeter, which is tuned dirty to read the accurate volts and my DRVN JVC monoblock KSAX 5101D 500 RMS at 2 ohms gonna be powering this beast with 500 RMS watts and I've already tested it wish I had a camera before to show you but nope no camera in my older videos I did have one and then when I first first uploaded my first video was with a cell phone with with HD 720p um, but I kinda wrecked the mic on it by hitting bass and recording then had an error which I knew destroyed the mic instantly from the high frequency tone from the tweeter just just went in too hard, destroyed it. Well, yeah, here it is. Kind of went off topic for a few seconds. Got it all wired. All glued. See, no, no power wires are touching these RCAs, which go down there. Uh, it's kind of too long, so I kind of just mushed it together and then glued it. And then goes up to the amp comes from the base and answer and then there's the out part which goes to the head unit which is going instead of going to the head unit it's going to be going to this and the head unit goes to this part but then I gotta fix this up once I install it so these power wires don't touch the RCAs so a um, nasty ugly tone doesn't come through and destroy your hearing From only high tones only, like, uh, I do not know what would happen from a sub. Never seen it happen before.
All right, here is my Blitz Audio BCE 7S half in 7 band rotor control equalizer with subwoofer with chrome finish space knobs um, this one that one 40 hertz and 400 hertz for the sub so it's a hertz control and 0 to 10 dB control so if you want loud bass or no bass LED lights and rewired here's my spare wire me and my tape and make sure those fuckers weren't coming off. <clears throat> Just got this thing yesterday. Along with my zero gauge, um, fuck, distribution block. <laughs> oh. My fiance wondering if I'm talking to her. <laughs> Peeking around the corner. She's talking to me, huh? Don't fucking interrupt me. Watching my true blood. Just kidding. <laughs> I did have my own equalizer, but I gave it to my fiance. I gave it to her. Just made a TP over there now. It's a little fort watching True Blood on her laptop. This thing is fucking wicked though. You can see my computer screen on it. It's reflection. Can't wait to get this hooked up. Works, I know that. Test it out. Just get it permanently hooked up. In my own vehicle. Stop. Just kidding. Just fucking around. I know this video looks darker than the other ones. Just because I already recorded this for. And it did not synchronize. Because it was only a minute long. So it kind of got messed up. And it was like moving real fast. And my words were coming after. Goddamn cameras. Just because it was a minute long didn't synchronize. Now I'm hoping this one did. Last but not least, um, I know this might have, could have been, saw, so smumbled that, um, this could have been most likely a long video, um, but not too long, but hopefully you watched the whole thing and hopefully you got to this part where I'm actually saying this part instead of just like, oh, blah, 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 blah. Only got like two minutes in, bam. Next video, going YouTube surfing, just random videos, but hopefully you made it this part. And last but not least, the main part, which I need, is the box that my friend Blake made. Which I got off him. I did not make this. Um, sorry in the old video. If I ever said I made this. I probably did not. Just thinking about it. I didn't say that. But my friend Blake made this. For 12 inch subs. But. Maybe I could add a piece. So I could put a 10 in there. If I wanted to. But I like to go big. 12 inch bigger the better 12 inch subs tuned at to um, between like 28 and 32 hertz 
it can go low, especially with the right sub. And that one can go low. That sub can go down to 20 hertz. It can handle 20 hertz. Yeah. And with this box, it's beast. Got a four inch width port and it's deep it goes way back there and it comes can you see that oh, oh kind of it like drops in there just just like that like an L part just goes in drops down it's not just a straight direct port or just like that And I know you're probably wondering what these are, but I wanted to be cautious. Like, this is the first thing I put on there was the braces. I know I've never seen anybody do that, but I did it. Hold the wood together. These are on there first for probably like a week or two, and then went out and got some screws and just, like, fucking an inch long, I think. And just drill the hole and then screw it right in and it's like that all the way around the box screws everywhere but I wanted to keep the braces on I was like oh well, fuck it I'm not gonna take those off but yeah let me know think of my video I know it's probably very really long kind of ish um yeah if you like my video hope you enjoyed it give it a thumbs up please give and show support as I'm new to this and I'm gonna be getting further and further gonna get bigger and bigger and subscribe if you're not a subscriber please leave a comment if you feel like it um, got way more to come maybe I'll go outside it's a nice day out I was in here for like I don't know, an hour deciding on this video when I was watching YouTube at the same time. I was like, fuck it, I'm gonna do it. Finally there, got everything. Got freaking everything that I can put in a vehicle. So yeah, stay tuned. This is ZBA Basehead, tuning out. Peace.